supposed to fight Tryna try to see what it's like, take me, so I roll the dice Look up to no one else, but your yeah, house shy I got real power, Hebrew is a lie You said what? You Austrian and white? Alright, well you have a biblical nationality as well Alright, you will be an Edomite according to the Bible Now bring this up this is the book of Romans, chapter 11, and verse 1. I say then, hath God cast away his people? God forbid. It says what? God forbid. Because God, that you read about in the Bible, he has a favorite people. Right. You have a favorite pair of shoes, correct? Or a favorite pair of clothes? Now that favorite is better than all the rest of the pairs you have. So out of every nation on the earth, God chose these people right here on the sign. These are his favorite. Right, you might have never heard this before. So God has never cast away his people. Read on. For I also am an Israelite. What did Paul say? For I also am an Israelite. African American. For I also am an Israelite. A black man. For I also am an Israelite. So the Bible calls us Israelites. We are the Israelites. We're not black. Right? We're not African American. You will be a king on this earth. Right? God's chosen people. Right, and again, what, this your friend? Well, yeah, you will be, uh, you have a biblical nationality as well, you will be an Edomite. So what we gotta do, brother, we gotta come back to God in the last days. Where you see yourself at? You see yourself at the top, at the bottom? You said what? Native American? Your father Native American? You think you do? Well, what's your father? You don't know? Well, that's a curse. That's the end of your life. End of your life. What's his race? Will, will he be so-called African-American? African-American? That means you will be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Again, you will be a king walking the earth, brother. You have to conduct yourself as a king in manner. Now you go to, what grade you in? You in ninth grade? What about you? You in ninth grade? Well, they're not gonna teach you this information in, in your, as a freshman, all right? If anything, they're gonna dumb you down with what you call the white man's knowledge, what he wants you to know. You learned about uh, Abraham Lincoln, right? And George Washington, right? Uh, Samuel Adams. Ulysses S. Grant. Well, it's, it's different presidents that set up, right? So they're gonna teach you that information, but your history, they're not gonna teach you. Have you wondered, have you ever wondered where is your history at? Why don't they teach you your history? They teach us what they want us to know. They teach us what they want us to know. And what do they want us to know? Have we got the signs? What do they want us to know? That's a good answer. Absolutely, they do teach us what they want us to know. Right, but what's some of the stuff they want us to know? It's a lot of things, right? They want us to know a, a lot of different things. They want us to know that we're nothing. They want us to know everything about them, but they don't want us to know about ourselves, right? That's why a lot of people don't know about each other. You ask them their nationality, I don't know. Or your so-called friend over there, he want to go. It's not benefiting him, though. Y'all got to go home? All right. So, again, you will be an Israelite. We got to keep the commandments of God. You know any commandments? You don't know? All right, let's show you, like, one. Leviticus 11. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. No. And the sword. And the sword. Though it divide the hoop and be covered for it, yet he chose not the cut. He is unclean to you. He is what? He is, is unclean to you. So you eat pork? The pig, bacon, sausage. Yeah, all of that is that uh, all of that is the pork. Right, so according to the Bible, we can't be eating that stuff. You have turkey, you can eat chicken, 
But when it comes down to the pig, that bacon, God said we can't eat it. That's a sin. All right, Ron. You eat seafood? What kind of seafood? Okay, let's read on. Verse 9. Verse 9. These shall you eat of all that are in the water. Whatsoever hath fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall you eat. Them shall you what? Them shall you eat. So God gave us a dietary law as the Israelites. We can only eat things that, that has fins and scales that come out of the water. Fish. So... What's the things that you just listed? Do that have fence and scales? So can we eat it? But who who gave us the say so that we can eat these things or not? Who said it's right? Because God said it's wrong. God said this is a sin. I don't like doing this. You doing the things that I hate. So who said that it's okay to go against what God said? Who said that? What are we gonna say? The so-called white man said it. We just gonna say right. it, right? Because right. if it wasn't for the so-called white man, uh, we wouldn't be doing half of the stuff we're doing right now. We wouldn't be killing each other. We wouldn't be shooting each other. We wouldn't be wanting to hang out with with, with beasts. We wouldn't be wanting to do none of these things. We wouldn't be eating shrimp crab a lot. You know what we were doing? We would be helping each other out, uplifting each other, right? We will be doing the commandments of God, right? So those are the commandments. Are you, you willing to think, you, do, you willing to do something? That's something you, you think you're willing to do? Yeah, you can do it. All right, now all right, well, let's get two more before you leave. Give me Exodus 20 and eight. How much time you got left? It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20. You with, you with his family? Oh, okay, read this. It's book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Yeah. Remember the Sabbath day. It says what? Remember the Sabbath day. So God said, remember the Sabbath day. Right. Do you know what the Sabbath day is? The Sabbath day, that's a, that's a day that the God has sanctified. God right. said, on that day, it's a holy day. Right. All right, it's not a regular day. Read on. To keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. And in it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son nor thy daughter. Hey, 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 stop. All right, stop it. You know what you're doing. Just give us two verses, man. All right, just two verses. That's it. We're not, we're not going to hold them up here for five days. Right. All right. Read it. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. So on a, on a Sabbath day, you can't do no work. All right? Now, with that being said, what is the seventh day of the week? Yeah, what's the seventh day? Well, that's what they say. You got a phone, right? Look on your calendar and find out what's the first day of the week. Huh? Yeah. Monday. You said Monday. All right. Look on your calendar. What's what's that? What comes first? What's at the very beginning? Saturday. That's Sunday. Sunday. So you see, you see how simple that was. So Sunday is. But again, who who told you that Monday was the first day of the week? So-called white man. Right. There you have it. Right? The so-called white man told you that now was was he correct? Was he he wasn't right? So why is it we should believe something what another man tells us, but we don't do research for ourselves? So this is what we got, this is what we try to get the youth to start doing. What's that dude name that you was hanging with? Alex? He skedaddled. Right? Now, Alex, is, is that your childhood friend? You just met him? A while ago? All right, so see, Alex and his people, believe it or not, brother, they don't care, man. You really think, that, you really think they want men your age? 
to stop killing each other. You really think he care about that? That's not even, he not even thinking about that. He thinking of how to go ride his scooter and have a good time. He not thinking about the crimes that go on in our community. He not thinking about how we should come together as Israelites and stop calling ourselves black. These different bywords that was placed upon us. He's not, he's not gonna, where's the sign at? He's not gonna teach you that it's so-called, that Christ is a so-called dark-skinned man. They're not, gonna tell, they're not gonna tell you that Christ looked like me and you. But what they will tell you is he's a white man. He looked like, he looked just like Alex. Hey, Alex. Let's see what he said. We got a question for you, Alex. I need you to point out which one, which one is Christ. You believe in Jesus, right? Which one, which one is Christ? Point it out. That one, right? Yeah. See that? I told you. Right? But again, these are the commandments. So today is the Sabbath day. In it, thou shalt not do any work. This is a day you want to refrain from your work. This is a day where you want to rest and you want to get some reading in. You might you might read the Bible. You might watch some videos, get some study in there. But this day is solely for the Most High. Right. All right? And on it, give me Isaiah 58, 13. Only we can't be doing our pleasures, right? So technically, right now, where y'all finna go? Home? Okay. But technically, not as the Sabbath, really, you like, you really like doing scooter rides, you know what I'm saying, riding scooters? So technically, on the Sabbath day, you wanna abstain from that, you wanna take a break, right? The other days, you could do that, you could do what you want, and righteousness, when the Sabbath come in, it's a day to rest. God give you a day just to chill out. Now read this. Isaiah 58, 13. Isaiah 58, 13. Isaiah 50. Yeah, Isaiah 58, 13. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 58 and verse 13. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day. From what? From doing on thy pleasure, pleasure on my holy day. So on the holy day, we can't be doing our pleasures. We doing? and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thine own ways. Not what? Not, not doing, doing thine, thine own ways. ways. Read that again. Not, not doing, doing thine, thine own ways. ways. So on the Sabbath day, today we're not even supposed to be doing our own ways. Right? right? I could have stayed home, kick back, relax today, watch the movie, but I can't do what I want to do. Right. Today is a day for me to go out and preach the gospel, man. Right? right? right. To teach the people, right? right? right. But they need to know. Not everybody, but what, what we need to know. All right? So, hey, before you leave, uh, what's some things you learned up here today? What's about three things that you learned today? That Monday is not the actual first day of the week. Right, okay. I'm like, I got like, 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 Yeah, that's that's from uh that's from Friday sundown and Saturday sundown. So right now you're in the Sabbath day. Okay, all praises. All praises. All right, one more. You a what? Israelite. Israelite. Okay, right. You an Israelite. And what are the Israelites? They, they God shows your people. You know about Moses, right? You didn't never heard about Moses? Well, Moses is a, a, he's a key figure that you read about in the Bible. Moses said, let my people go. He didn't say let everybody go. You had a lot of nations in Egypt. 
right? Egypt, it was it was busting back then, man. You think Chicago busting? You no, know, everybody wanted to go to Egypt. Everybody was in Egypt doing trade, getting money. It was doing. It was a lot of people back there, a lot of nations. But guess what? God said, let my people go. He didn't say let everybody go. Let the whole wide world go. All right. So I'm saying you are Israelite. It, it, it's a it's a lot of information. You be on YouTube. Are you? Well, you gotta subscribe to our channel. But right, we gonna uh we gonna give you some information. But um you can type in. Well, you you can you can type in. Yeah. Yeah. Now. All right, and you gotta subscribe. So I'm saying you might you might watch a video when you get home. All right, you might learn a little bit more. So it, it's a, it's a lot out here for you to learn. Um, you're an Israelite. We got some people. We gotta repent and come back to God in the last days. Right. And it's for you, Alex. Just remember, you're an Edomite. All right. You're not white. All right, you an Edomite. You come from Esau. All right? Just remember that. All right, y'all got, got any questions? About the scriptures? All right. All right, be careful, man. All right? Yeah, I'll pay some on side. Right? Yeah, Alex, man, not gonna make it. At all. Damn devil. Yeah. Hey, family, y'all got a minute for the word? One minute, one minute. One minute. One minute. Yeah, he, he does, he's, that's Satan. You see how he tried to pull him away, man? Come on, let's go. Right? Let's ride our scooters. Well, no, he's he's learning about who he is, right? Right, and that's the spirit because, and, he, and he's only a freshman. Why would a freshman try to pull somebody away? He don't know what's going on, right? He has his eyes not even open yet to know certain things in the world, right? Give me Psalms fifty-eight three, but that's again that's that's the so-called white. They're saved from the womb, all right? They're the wicked from the womb. Read this. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 58, and verse 3. Yeah. The wicked are estranged from the womb. The what? The wicked are estranged from the womb. Read that again. The wicked are estranged from the womb. And God says the wicked, they are estranged from the womb, man. Meaning they the wicked from the womb. The moment that sperm go, cracks that egg open, and it's a damn baby, and it's a fetal inside, a so-called white woman's stomach, Guess what? That baby is now pronounced the wicked, man. Wicked. In the womb. Right? Hey, the most High, he has prophets from the womb. He has apostles from the womb. Evangelists. Right? Teachers. Guess what? The Lord also has the wicked from the womb. Right? Right? The moment they in their mom's womb, they the wicked. Read one. They go astray as soon as they be born. They do what? They go astray as soon as they be born. What is the so-called white man? They go astray as soon as they be born. The moment they born, they go astray. They looking for evil, right? They looking for bloodshed. They just trying to get their hands on right? That's why a two-year-old, you have two, two-year-old, you know, my baby, try to kill his parents, man. Damn, see that? Right? With a damn knife. How do a two-year-old know how to damn pick up a knife and start trying to kill somebody? Guess what? They're the wicked, man. Right? You damn trying to stick the damn knife in a socket. Hey, sis, come to the word. Come to the word, sister. All right, so you got to separate from your enemies. Get out. You got to get out, sister. Get out. And come back to your own people. Right? That's why they know how to stick a damn butter knife in a socket. Then they get electrocuted. Then they damn still be alive. Then they just get more evil. Well, the Lord says the wicked are estranged from the womb. You know what? Speaking love. Doing what? Speaking love. What do they do? Speaking love. Speaking lies, man. Right? 
We was for that. We was we was just asking him which one do you think Christ is. He know he wanted to say Caesar for Isaiah, but he was thinking. He was he probably was finna lie. It's like man, I don't know. They might say something. Let me try to make up a lie. Well, if you believe that's white man, just okay. That's cool, man. Right? We know we know what color Christ is. We know what color Yahweh is. You don't have to lie about that. But guess what? They can't help it. Give me her back in chapter two and verse four. They can't help it, man. And y'all brothers got a minute for the word? Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans? One minute, one minute. Right, they can't help it, man. They they have to be wicked. They have to do evil. It's in their spirit. And give me second address, 336. Bring this up. It's the book of Habakkuk, chapter two and verse four. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Read that again. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Now they probably can maybe do some good things. His soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. And God said that soul which is in him is it's not upright. Right, it's, it's not pure. Right, it's no such thing as a, 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 a sincere Edomite. Well, man, nah, uh, it's not all white people are bad. No. What about this one? He's only five. Well, again, we're here to tell you that five-year-old is a devil, man. Right. And and if he, when he, by the time he's probably, be, he probably, he'll probably be grown by the time the kingdom come. But if you do have a baby Edomite, this head is getting dashed against the stone. That's man. right. That's it. That's it. The Lord. That's it. Right. The Bible. Right. If you don't like it, you gotta take it up with King David. I didn't write the Bible. Right. right. Nevertheless, the soul. It's not lifted up right. It's, up, it's not upright. Jake, Jake got that upright spirit, man. Sometimes Jake, Jake don't even know what's going on, but he still be righteous, right? No, nah, man, I don't know about smoking. It's, it's something about it. I'm, I'm good, man. I don't know about going to the club, man. Killing somebody, man, I'd never do that. And we just got that sincere conscience. You ask Esau, Esau, they willing to do anything, man. Literally anything. And what's your nationality? What's your nationality? You're American? You believe in the Bible? You got a minute? One minute? One second, one second. Come learn something. And y'all come back too. You were here too? No, all praise. Now, you said American, right? What, what about you? What's your, what's your nationality? Indian? Oh, American, okay. My bad, what you say? American, American too. Now, do you, do y'all know where the word American comes from? No. So off that, let me ask you this: Is it a wise thing to call yourself something and you don't know what it means? Is that wise? No. So a lot of the times, and that's a common answer. We get black, African American, but the term American actually comes from an Italian map maker by the name of Americo Vespucci right during the 1400s which is a so-called white man we're just going to be honest right he will be a caucasian now do your people descend from caucasians do it huh do y'all people do your people descend from caucasians from america best future so the question is how can you truly be american then american is a citizenship so a man could be Chinese, but if he comes over to America, or if he's born here, he's now classified as an American. So American doesn't determine your ethnic background. So again, and we might we might have two thousand dollars out here if y'all could get the correct answer. So again, the, the question is again, what's your nationality? What's your true nationality? Y'all know.